All right, so I want to post on real quick, um, just to show. Okay, long story short, I um, when I was rebuilding my 17 T turbos, um, I accidentally uh, was uh, putting it together, you know, tightening it back up. The wrenches slipped; it rolled off the table, and um, yeah this happened as you can see good 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 bit yeah so when it fell that little blade right there hit the ground and you can see the i don't know if i can focus in but you can see the damage right there on it thank god one of the guys on the uh roof uh hit me up and said hey he had a turbine shop available for, that he had for a 17t so he saved my ass i'm gonna get his name right now i'm gonna shout out to him uh, shout out to Jason Loner for helping me out, man, because I was about to go out to buy some new turbos, so thank goodness uh, he was able to tell, able to have one, got it for a pretty good deal, so saved my ass. So, but yeah, back to the video. So, what to say is one good thing I found out about the 17Ts after, uh, you know, rebuilding them is that they're actually compared i just watched turbo the guy from turbo lab's video i don't know his name per se but um he, he was talking and he opened up um, some 19 t turbos and um he looked at them and saw like how what caused them to fail and um a, a couple of things you go into the video we, he talks about the um, i don't know if that's the shaft collar or the, whatever connects to the thrust bearing how they're smaller and um, because of that, after about 20 pounds of boost, they start to blow or they start, you know, to blow up. So um, the good thing about that is um, when I was build, rebuilding 17Ts, um, there has the upgraded um, upgraded 14 millimeter collars in it or the bearings, whatever they're called. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too deep into turbos like that, so I can't really be fully technical with it, but Whatever you were talking about that needed to be upgraded was already upgraded in the 17T. I'll show you, um, and I'll show you that as well. Also, the thrust bearing. Um, in the 19Ts, the thrust washer bearing is has the old model, the TD-04s, which are known to fail above uh, 18 PSI. Um, I'll show you this. Hold on, I'm going to flip this. So, this is the... This is the one that came out of my turbo. Now, granted, it does have wear, um, but apparently the guy that I bought these turbos from had um, had put thirty-five thousand miles, thirty thousand miles, thirty-five thousand miles on them, and ran them at a very high horsepower. I think it said like five hundred to six hundred wheel, whatever. I don't. It's a claim, so I'm not gonna say it's hundred percent true, but that's pretty damn good if it is true. So you can see, like on both these turbos, they had you know pretty mild thrust thrust bearing wear but it's not like this bad it's not as bad as it's bad but check this out these are the bearings that turbo labs give you with upgrade kit now can you tell the difference not really now these are dual port dual oil port bearings so these are probably one of the reasons why these turbos last so long because now one thing I did notice that these have like on the top of the ones that come with the uh, the ones that come with um, Turbo Labs one it has like ball bearings at the top looks like and um, these don't I think these are more so like knockoffs of them but even if they are knockoffs at least he's, like they're pretty much I think what they did was what China did, these China manufacturers do is they took a uh, they probably got a RB17 because basically what I always said was um, what I always said about the Chinese uh, 17Ts is they're built exactly like the RB Stage 2 Pluses or the Hex or the Hexons. Now with the RB Stage 2 Pluses, they're built exactly like this. They they're TDO3 housings with TDO4 upgraded thrust bearings. They have TDO4, they're hybrid turbo. So they have 
this is a legit hybrid. Like I know they call like the 19 T's a hybrid turbo, but they're a legit hybrid because really they use like a TDO, a bigger TDO four size thrust turbine shaft, but they still fit into a TDO three housing. And so you can kind of see here. I can show you this. This is a this is this is a TD. This is what I was pulling my damn hair out with. Um, I bought. I had to buy two kits from Turbo Labs. I had to buy a TDO three upgrade kit and a TDO four upgrade kit. I had to buy two of them because when I was rebuilding it, these are the TDO four bearings here. So. These are the TDO4 bearings here. Hold on, I'm going to go grab the housing. Hold on. So these are the housings that come with the... Uh, I clean mine. They, they still need to be cleaned up a little better. But these are the uh, the housings that come with the TD... With the 17T turbos. Um, as you can see, they are pretty much a machine TDO3 housing. Because look, this is a TDO4 bearing. If I try to put this in here, it doesn't fit. So I was like, what the hell? These are supposed to be TDO4 turbos, but they don't have TDO4. This is not a TDO4 center section because this. So these are TDO, TDO3 thrust bearings. This is a TDO4 thrust bearing. You can see the difference in size in the inside, but you can also see how the bearing is on the other side so I mean uh, the the whole the oil pour holes on the other side so I was like what the hell so then I ordered I'm thinking like, okay cool so then I said let me order a TDO3 rebuild kit because these are obviously TDO3 center sections okay great so I ordered it went to rebuild it so this is a TDO3 rebuild it's TDO3 Rebuild uh, collar bearing. I think that's what it's called. When you try to put it on, wouldn't fit around the uh, turbine shaft. So I'm like, what the fuck? So what I ended up having to do was I just basically, because I looked at them, you can kind of see how the bearings are damn nearly identical, which is another good thing about these kids. They pretty much have identical co like roller bearings. I'm get probably getting this all wrong. I don't know. Maybe I update in the video. But you can see how they're pretty much identically made so i had to use these and then when i use the you know we use the ones that come with it they slide they slide right over like that so this is when i was just like man i came to the realization like these are a legit hybridly weirdly built hybrid turbo and um on top of that too these use two piston rings <laughs> Um, I was trying to get a staggered one, but I'm at, I'm at, I'm still trying to figure this out too. See if I can get a one of them big staggered seals that come with you get with the TDO four kit, but apparently they don't come with them. So you have to use two. These are two TDO three piston ring seals that you got to put together to make work. Um, that's one thing I found out about these um, these shaft seals. So um, the piston seal. So. But back on this, like this kind of shows you like this this is my theory on why they last so long because they actually do come with quality parts. Even this is the um I think this is it. It might not be it, but I'm sorry, I am I'm a messy person, but even the um Let me grab. So even the parts that come with it stock. Now this is an upgraded oil jet though. This is different. Only thing I know is different is this oil just different. I'll show you in a second why it's different. But other than that, the this is the stock one that came with it. This is the stock um, seal stock and the um, stock. Oh yeah, this is what this is the big part. So these what came with the, these are what came with it stock. These are the upgraded. Um, these are the. Um, Whatever the what I was telling you about the collar, whatever they call it, whatever goes on the um that runs on a brush washer. So actually, they're not beveled. So what comes with them? I, I gotta grab it. So what comes with them? 
is not the ones that are like the bad ones that they talk about. They actually are bigger. Because these are the ones that he bring, he brings with the kit. They actually are beveled. I just see that. but So I'm going to try to see. I just found that out. They are beveled, which is bad, I think. Yeah, disregard what I said. So this is actually what I, this what came with the turbo itself. It's actually a flat, a flat one. Compared to the one that came with the Turbo Labs kit, which is actually um, beveled. So, hmm, pretty impressive. Like, like I was saying, overall, I'm just saying um, the 17 T's from the factory are built really well. They're balanced. This is why they last so long. This is just my my opinion on them. Um, all you really got to do, I feel like, if you was to just take Take it apart, replace, change the seal out of course with one of these here, with one of the brown ones, and put you a put you a real authentic um, dual port washer, dual port thrust bearing in there. And these damn things probably last you about fifty thousand miles. I have a problem. Be honest with you, they might last you just as long as some pures if you keep the if you just maintain the car right. Oh, man, I think like I really think that the 17 T's are actually really built really well from the factory. I mean, honestly, if you do do your due diligence with your maintenance and um, probably, you know, if you really want to, it's really out of the box. You probably get 30, 40,000 miles on it if you do if you. You know, do your maintenance and everything right. Don't over boost them like over 30 PSI on a consistent basis. Um, but if you actually upgrade the thrust, thrust bearings and um, shoot, change that seal, you might get about 50,000 miles. You might get probably, I think you will probably start having issues more so with the cast, cast iron uh, manifold before the turbos actually fail. Um, I think the 17 T's might be, if you want something reliable, if you just take the time before you, if you want to get them balanced again, just to get, just to have like, just to have like a little, you know, have a little, you know, just to feel better about yourself, then yeah, go ahead, get them balanced, change the thrust bearing, you might get about 50,000, 60,000 miles on them before you have any problems. So, um, that's just my thing. Um, again, this is just my opinion on it. Um, but yeah, this you know, I just wanted to give a, a video just talking about like me after talk, actually doing a tear down of the 17 T's and comparing how they were built, you know. So, Don here, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.